Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is multiplying and dividing word problems. This is part four. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Our third grade math and review reading review workbooks are available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there will be a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos and also to spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's review some of the words we may see when reading word problems. That means we need to multiply or divide. Let's start with multiplication first. We may see times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiple, multiplied by, or equal groups. For division, we may see half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up, or shared equally. Now, these are not all of the words that would appear in a word problem, but they're the ones that are commonly most used. Let's dive into our problems. Now remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Number 37 says, Daria has 42 baseball gloves in her store. She will put these gloves on seven shelves. She will put the same number of gloves on each shelf. How many gloves will Daria put on each shelf? So our answer choices are eight because 42 divided by seven is equal to eight. Is it G nine because 42 divided by seven is equal to nine or H six because 42 divided by seven is equal to six or is it J seven because 42 divided by seven is equal to seven. So in order for us to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of gloves Daria will put on each shelf. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next question is, what information can help find the answer? There's a uh, couple of informations that can help find the answer. Number one, Daria has 42 baseball gloves in her store. And two, she will put these gloves on seven shelves. Now that we know what we're looking for, how are we going to solve the problem? In order for us to discover how many gloves she will put on each shelf, we need to divide 42 gloves by seven shelves. 42 divided by seven is equal to six, so there will be six gloves on each shelf. Well, what is our correct answer? We need to look at our answer choices to see which one shows six as the answer choice because 42 divided by seven is equal to six. Yes, it is H. H is our correct answer. Great choice, third graders. Let's move to number 38. In math class, five students split up 65 flashcards to practice their math facts. The picture shows the total number of flashcards. Each student took the same number of flashcards. What is the number of flashcards each student took? Is it A, 13? B, 15, C, 70, or D, 60. 
Now, in order for us to solve this problem, you already know the most important question is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of flashcards each student took. Now that we know what we're looking for, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that five students split up 65 flashcards. Also, that each student took the same number of flashcards. That's the information that will help us solve this problem. And how do we solve it? We are going to divide because again, we said that there are five students that split up the flashcards. There's a total of 65 flashcards and each two student took the same number of flashcards, which means the flashcards were divided out or separated evenly. That means divide. So divide 65 flashcards by five students. 65 divided by five is equal to 13. So 13 flashcards is the number of, is the number each student will get. Now that we know that, what is our correct answer? Well, what we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has 13 as the answer. And I bet you see it. Yes, thir A, 13 is our correct answer. And that is it third graders for our multiplying and dividing word problems part four. Now listen, if you haven't looked at part one to part three, go ahead and do so. It will help you in understanding how to solve any type of word problems where you have to multiply or divide. Remember, we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And also parents, we have a link in our description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.